Coaches, appreciate you tuning in my YouTube channel. Um, this week's theme has been about growing your program. Well, I'm going to kind of take a little pivot on this one. We talk about involving your family in your program. I don't know your situation, uh, but I know that I've been a head coach for a long time, and I know that you only get one shot at being a father and one shot at being a husband. And so it's important as a coach that you figure out a way to involve your family in your program in ways they want to be involved. I know we're all in unique situations. Some of y'all may have young kids and your wife's working full time. And so some things you have to be limited and be careful with their time. However, I've always tried to involve my family heavily in my program. So my wife is aware of what's going on because we spend a lot of hours away and it's important she understands what you're trying to accomplish, not just climbing the career ladder, but the impact you're making on these young men. I've got a couple other uh, different materials. If you're interested on my website, you can go there. Um, but this one, but here's a couple things that we do as far as involving my family specifically. Uh, I've got two sons. I've got one who is 13 and almost as tall as me already, and one who is eight and getting bigger by the day. And I've got a young lady who is you know, getting ready to flee the nest quicker than I want her to. And so as we've been a parent, and I've coached, and I've been a head coach pretty much the entire time they've been coming up. I've tried to make sure that, one, I'm very sensitive towards my assistant coaches and their time at home, and myself and my time at home. And so we don't bring our coaches in on Saturdays. Uh, I give them that day off. I have expectations that they're to hit before we meet Sunday afternoon, but I feel it's important as a uh, father and a, and a husband to have some time where you can do what you'd like to do. Uh, I know another coach who's, they do bring their coaches in on Saturday, but they bring them in really, really early and get them out of there by about nine or 10 o'clock so they can spend time with their family. But I do think if you're a head coach, that's something you need to take into account is, uh, you know, you need to figure out times where you're not just burning your coaches out. I don't ever want to be the reason one of my coaches goes through some family issues. And so that's something we've tried to do and we have to hit, get the job done, but uh, I think we can do a lot of that stuff at home. And I think Zoom and the COVID and all this stuff is kind of teaching us we don't always have to be up at the field house. We can do work other places. All right, now, the three things I'm going to talk about. One, uh, I've got a ball boy or got a ball girl, I don't care. You know, which if you've got a child, I think it's important that they are around your program if they have the desire to be so. I think one, it keeps you in check. Uh, two, it lets them see what dad is doing. And three, I use them a lot of times as an example with one of my players where it'll be my son is right there watching everything you do. And, uh, you know, he's going to do what you do. And he's going to want to be who you are. And to me, it's important we're impressing that on our athletes. It's also important that my son sees reality. You know, a lot of times on the sideline on a Friday night, it's, uh, it's a different kind of place. And so having those conversations with him uh, need to take place. And, having, and saying, hey, look, I recognize that not everybody is the same way we are, you know, but we are going to hold to our core beliefs as far as, uh, to me, being a Christian and, and holding on to my language and all that kind of stuff. And it's been great to have them there to keep me calm. It's also been great for my athletes because, you know, we have, we have uh, rules that we want you to follow, but now you see the reason why. The reason why is, look who's watching you, okay? And there's other things uh, that come along with that, just spending time on the bus from the road trip, eating meals, getting to spend some time with your child. Second thing, you know, photography. If your wife is going to the games and you live in any place in America, your fans are probably not going to like some of your decisions. It's important you understand that and it's important you find a place for her to kind of have a safe place. And so for us, that has been on the sideline with a camera and uh, my wife is great at it, but even if she wasn't, it would be, it's a place to get the wives kind of away from uh, hearing some things that maybe they wouldn't want to hear necessarily or being really right up in the middle of maybe a bad situation. So finding a place, whether it's taking pictures, whether it's, hey, we're going to section this place off for our coaches and their wives uh, to sit is probably going to save you a lot of headache down the road. It also kind of gives a safe place where your family can go spend some time. Also, meals. You know, I'm, uh, COVID has made this difficult, but we try to have each kid on our team at some point. I'm at a big school now, but I still want every kid to have come eaten at my table. Uh, I want my coaches to do the same thing. I think there's nothing more valuable 
uh, than for them to see how a family dynamic works, see the arguing, you know, see the discipline of the kids, see inside the house. And I think the best way to do that is usually involving food and they'll eat. And so we try to do this as much as we can. I'd highly recommend you do this as well. There's a lot of other things you can do. I would caution you, uh, you know, I, I hope I'm a great coach. I hope great things happen, but more important to me is I, I, I hope that I'm a great father and a great husband because that ultimately is my goal. If you need more information about any of this stuff, feel free to reach out to me, fbcoachsimpson at gmail.com. Um, I don't really have a lot of materials on this. I'm not a counselor, but I am one that wants to caution you if you're a young football coach watching this uh, to make sure you put your priorities where they need to be because I think in our world, a lot of times it's easy to not do that. Appreciate you checking out the video. Next week, I'll have a different theme, probably be on some scheme stuff. If you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. <laughs>